This video introduces you to integrating Touch ID authentication in your Kony application. This tutorial requires Xcode 6 to create the project and you'll need a device with Touch ID to test the sample app that we'll create. Touch ID is a feature introduced in iOS which allows a user to authenticate using fingerprints. It uses the local authentication framework. You can use this as a mechanism to log in to your application or use it to protect sensitive data within an app. The Kony framework provides two APIs that developers can use to implement Touch ID. The Get Status for Authentication Mode API allows us to check if Touch ID is enabled on the device. The Authenticate User API performs the authentication. We will start with an existing application which has a login and a dashboard form. The dashboard form is to be displayed once a user is successfully authenticated. During this tutorial, we will extend this application to enable authentication through Touch ID. First, I'll add a button on the login form through which the Touch ID function can be triggered. Let us add text to the button as login with Touch ID. I will modify the skin of this button so that it is in sync with the rest of the form design. When the user clicks on this button, we will trigger the authentication through Touch ID. Next, I will add a module to write a function for the authentication. In this function, let us first check if the device using this application has Touch ID enabled. We will do this by using the Kony.local authentication API. Within the local authentication namespace, we will invoke get status for authentication mode. This is a generic API that requires a parameter for the type of authentication mode. Since here we are checking for the availability of Touch ID, we will pass it the authentication mode for Touch ID. This is a constant and is defined as constants.localAuthenticationMode Touch ID. The return value of this API will be a status code. A status code of 5000 indicates a success. In case the status code is not 5000, we will display an appropriate message back to the user and provide a fallback authentication method which in this case is the username and password on the login screen. iOS has a fairly standard code for accessing Touch ID. If the device does have Touch ID enabled, we will present the user with this standard Touch ID flow. Using the Kony API, we will enable this flow so that the user has the same native iOS experience while using this feature. Here, we will use the Authenticate API from the local authentication namespace. This API is used to invoke the authentication. It requires three parameters. The first is the authentication mode which is Touch ID. The next is the status callback to convey the status back to the user to take appropriate action and the last one is config map to provide configuration details. I will pass the authentication mode as constants.localAuthenticationModeTouchID I will add the status callback as touch ID underscore return and I will pass a prompt message as the configuration parameter. Now we need to implement the callback function which we just declared. This receives the status and the message as the callback parameters. A status of 5000 indicates success and we will navigate the user to the dashboard form. When the status code is not 5000, we will display the message back to the user and provide a fallback authentication method. Now that we have the functionality implemented, let us map this function back to the Touch ID button on our login screen. I will select the onclick action for the button and invoke the Touch ID authentication function on the action editor. This completes our integration for the Touch ID authentication. Let us preview this application on the Visualizer app preview. As designed, I have the login form with the Touch ID button. Once I click this button, Notice how the application prompts me for Touch ID. Now, I'll use my fingerprint for authentication and as implemented, the application navigates me to the dashboard screen after a successful authentication. To learn more about Kony Visualizer, visit developer.kony.com or visit kony.com products visualizer.